Hey guys, just a quick announcement before this video starts. Um, I'm uploading the video today, the new Archinos video series, uh, episode one today, because later today you're gonna find out why I'm uploading it today. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to show you how to get a Minecraft server with Arternos. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you guys leave a like, and let's just get started. So, um, so I was going to do the second episode, uh, last time I did the Ar uh, Arternos video series, but I kind of forgot, uh, the second episode, and I was busy with a lot of stuff, so we're going to do a brand new Arternos Minecraft server series. Now, every Wednesday, I'm going to be posting a brand new episode of how to create a server of Artidos, or Arternos. And if you do not see an episode on Wednesday, that is because uh, I might be a busy or I'm editing. But um, if it's not on Wednesday, then I'll try to put it on Thursday. So hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, guys, let's show you how to create a Minecraft server with Arternos. And uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. And because... This is supposed to be a Spanish server. The people who made this is supposed to be like, I don't know, like Mexican or something like that. I've seen uh, a few YouTube videos. They have a YouTube channel. I'll link them in the description down below if you guys want to check them out. If you are having trouble with what, you, what you're what you doing. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you everything. And if my voice or I'm sniffling, that is because I have a sore throat and also I have a stuffy nose. So sorry about that if my voice is a little bit weird or if I sniffle. But anyway, let's show you how to create a Minecraft server. So what you guys to do is that if, if it's this first time on this page you uh, you go to this page if it's your if your first time then you go over to play and then what you do is that you go over to uh, oh don't worry about that you could actually exit for cookies but uh, we're just gonna push yes for I don't know the sake of this tutorial but anyway guys um, so as you can see um, probably if it's your first time you gotta sign up you know you gotta do your email your username your password your retype password and then you gotta click I'm not a robot because otherwise if you um, if you click this without clicking that it's gonna say oh sorry we don't know you're a robot so you have to click that otherwise uh, yeah it's gonna think you're a robot and you can't sign in so yeah Anyway, alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be right back, because I'm gonna create a brand new account, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are in the brand new server, and I created the, uh, the YouTube, uh, it's called Arctonose Tutorial YouTube, because why not? And, uh, yeah, so, once you create an, an account, what you gotta do is that you gotta go, uh, so you gotta do a few more things before you start up your server. So you could start up your server now, but let me show you a few tips and tricks so you can run your server. So, um, so, these are, um, options as you can see right here options and um, as you can see there's slots which is the amount of players that can join your server so for the sake of this tutorial we're just gonna do 20 I guess I guess it's a random number and then either you could do right whitelist yes or no so whitelist is um, so if you go down here uh, this is the whitelist um, so what a whitelist is if you guys do not know so a lot of you guys probably do know because do not know a whitelist is um, Pacific people can join your server like uh, so you could type in like a Minecraft username like let's just say if only your friends can join a Minecraft server if you know their username you have to have their username to actually whitelist them but if you put uh, so if you put sh yes it will be whitelisted so only Pacific player uh, players can join or if you push no everyone else could join so that's pretty much what a whitelist is and then we have online mode now this is um if if you want to have a private server or like a open server so if you push a medium uh, pr uh premium uh sorry i don't even know how to pronounce it um if you push premium um that means that the server's open and everyone else could join but if it's on cracked that means only you can join the server so if you want uh if you want everyone else to join then click uh premium but if if you just want to join the server and oh yeah sorry oh oh okay sorry sorry there's navigations i'm sorry but anyway yeah if you push cracked then it's gonna cr uh, make it so only you could join the server but if you push premium everyone else could join the server so yeah 
Alright. So, also, there's a game mode. So, let's just say you're doing a survival series, right? Uh, you can uh, use this uh, server for a survival series. Uh, and uh, you can push survival or creative. There's adventure. And, yeah. So, what this is, is that when people join your server, they're going to automatically have that game mode. But I suggest you put it on survival or adventure if it's a mini game server. So, yeah. But, um, if you're doing a survival server, you could just pick whatever, but I suggest you go for survival or adventure if you're doing a mini game server, which is going to be really cool. Also, there's a mod of the day, which is, um, so let's just say, oh, you have a brand new mini game, so let's just say, this is for tutorial purposes only, this is just an example, so if you do new, we could just say, uh, okay, let's see, let's see, new, um, Sky Wars, you know, you could just do that, or you could say new, uh, you know, you could do anything. So, what I'm modded today is, um, I'll show you a uh, picture on screen right now. That is the mod of the day. What it is, is that it's, um, the title of what's going on in the server. So, if, if it's open or something like that, you could, you could customize it anywhere you want. Also, there's a server icon. So, what it is, is that, um, I'll show another picture. A server icon. So, if you guys see everything like high pixel or the high, before you join the server, you do see, like, a, um, an H or like uh, that that's what you can do but it has to be a 64 by 64 pixel picture and then and then you push this and then it will uh, pop up this and then uh, right here is the computer uh, right now this is what it looks like when it's online but uh, you guys could change that if you push this and then you can like uh, yeah probably you guys couldn't see that but it will pop up your a file explorer uh, so you could grab like a file out and make sure you have their file located so if you remember where it is or something like that yeah Anyway, th yeah, that's it. And also, uh, there's difficulty, which uh, you probably that this is pro pretty self-explanatory. But you could do like peaceful, easy, normal, hard. I suggest you go for easy or peaceful if you're doing a mini game server. I usually go for easy, just in case if there's like mini games that have mobs. But um. Anyway, we have PvP, which is, I suggest you put it on yes, because when I push no, and yeah, it kind of messes up the server if you have, like, a PvP minigame. So push yes, uh, and uh, there'll be, like, plugins where you can uh, disable PvP so people don't let go, like, you know, just go killing each other on the server. Um, also, there's a command blocks enabled. I don't know why we would have it disabled, but only for, like, I don't know, for people who don't like command blocks, I'm guessing. But I'm pretty sure I don't know why you would want to disable command blocks, but you can push enable if you want to. Also, you could do fly, so when they join the server, they all have access to flying. I should just put that on uh, disabled, because if it's a mini game server, you don't want everyone to fly around. But if it's, like, a creative server or something like that, I don't know. But I suggest you put on disabled if you if it is a mini game server. Server. Also, you got animals and mobs, so this is basically the same thing, except um, you can have it enabled or disabled. Now, um, I'm having problems with the server. It's probably a bug because this has uh, been out for a while. They're going to fix bugs, but um, you have to enable this like right away. You got to choose if you want them to be enabled or disabled because if you do it right away, it'll be... Uh, It'll be automatically do that, but if you start your server and then you change this, it probably won't work. I know it probably doesn't work. So make sure you have monsters on or disabled, or uh, the same go goes for monsters if you want them disabled or enabled. But I suggest you put on enabled just to get this as many games where uh, where it has monsters on. So yeah, like that. Also, there's send command, which is like if if you're not OP to the server, you could just send it through the server console. All right. Anyway, um, so we're just getting to it intact there, and that was all the options you could do. And don't worry about these guys, these are just ads. Um, usually if you're on Google Chrome or any, uh, web browser, usually there'll be an X by it, and then you could, like, like, report it, or, like, you can, like, exit out of it, and then they'll be gone. But don't click on any of these, you might get a virus or something like that. I never click on any of these, um, viruses. Even though it says Minecraft, I suggest you do not go to there, because you probably already have Minecraft, so, no. And anyway, alright, so, what you gotta do is that there is a version down here, so as you can see, it says version. And what you gotta do is you're gonna go to plugins, then you're gonna go to, you can choose any of them. So, if you want to have a mini game server, you have to have plugins enabled. So, either you could have vanilla, you could have snapshot, you could have plugins, and you could have mod packs, you could have mods, and you could have MP, uh, PC, you know, no, 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 pocket edition, sorry. And, um, yeah, you could do mod packs, like, uh, Voids, Routh, and all that, and, uh, but if you want a mini game server, go to plugins, and then you can either do bucket or spigot. So, 
I usually go for bu uh, spigot. I don't know what's the difference between bucket or spigot. I just I just click spigot because I've played it the most. And then after you do that, it's gonna sh it's gonna tell you what version you want. So we're gonna go for we're gonna go for the brand new version. And uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go for 1.12, and we're gonna say install. And as you can see, it says server will stop if if running. So that means if if you're doing this, it will stop your server. But uh, do everything this. Do not start your server unless you until uh, until I tell you to, because that will make it a lot better. All right, also, we've got whitelist. This is what I told you last time. Uh, this is where you type in the Minecraft username, so that way uh, they can join your server and all of that. And also, we got OP, which means um, you can op a player. What it is, it's basically for people to have commands, access to commands. So let's just say we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna actually OP ourselves because <laughs> just in case if I'm gonna show you like a plugin or something, I have to enable myself. And as you can see, it pops up the username right here, and you click this X if you don't want them uh, to be OP'd anymore and all that. And also, guys. So also, there's a few options up here. There's like download and there's new upload. So this is like if if you don't like the world, like the seed you have now, you could just do a new upload. And then when you, once you click this, it's gonna pop up this tab. It's gonna have like a seed. So if you have like a seed that you really want to have on the server, then you could type that in or like paste it in, I guess. And then we have hardcore. So if you want like to do like a hardcore survival series, I don't know, like that. Um, then you can push enable, but you could you could do disabled. I don't know why you would push enable it only for like if you were doing this survival series or something like that and then we got world type so basically you could do like default flat large biomes and amplified now I just go for default because I could just I could just do everything by myself and anything like that also we've got generate world which and when you do this when you uh, like mess around with all of this if you got what you want then you could push generate world but then also if you have like a server hub or something then you want to so let's just say there's a world that you really want to come on the server like you really want to put it on the server then go to here uh, ch uh, click choose file and you guys cannot see this but uh, there will be your file explorer popping up right here or somewhere around ar around the uh, screen and then you can uh, choose uh, where the f world is then you can push upload world and I'll choose and upload it also it says right here you have to have it in a zip a dot zip file for it to upload so if you don't have a dot zip file it's not gonna work I tried it myself and you have to have an adopts dot zip file if you guys do not know how to how to put them in a dot zip file then go on YouTube uh, there's probably loads of videos about it all right also we got restore backup I haven't really messed around with this I don't think you should too um I will tell you in a in a neck in uh in a future video what this is and whatnot and also there's reinstall so this is gonna delete your whole server um probably not the plugins I don't know every time I push this it's not gonna uh, delete the plugins but this is gonna restart your restart your whole server so you gotta do like the spigot again and all of that so I suggest you don't click that only if your server is like having issues or you did something wrong I suggest you go for it but it's really risky if you have a lot of stuff on that server that you really like and join, so everything like that. Alright, so pretty much that's everything I have for today's video. Oh, and one more thing. So, um, once you um, start your server, you can't start your server yet, so once you push start, so for all these instructions, um, push start and then what's gonna happen is that it's gonna say you have to agree to the EULA. So what, you, what, you, what that is is that you have to agree to it, otherwise you cannot start your server. So you have to push, yes, I accept the EULA, and then and once you accept it, oh yeah, you gotta wait for this queue to work. Now, I am not gonna wait the entire video for this to actually load. I am just going to uh, end the video here, so that way I can have this server up and running. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Art to Knows, how to create a server of Art to Knows. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like on the video, that would really help a lot. And if this is your very first time watching my video, then make sure you click subscribe and after that, click that little bell and then that way, every time I post a video, you guys will get notified. Also guys, um, the next Art to Knows video, the next Art to Knows video about uh, how to create a server, is gonna be about plugins. So, next Wednesday, we're gonna talk about plugins so thank you everybody for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video lexon